Good morning children. Today we shall learn how lightning occurs. We have already learnt about static electricity and discharge in our previous lesson. So let us see how that is related to lightning. The clouds moving in the air acquire electric charge because of friction between the cloud particles and the air particles and the friction between the particles in the cloud. The positive charges accumulate near the upper edges of the cloud and the negative charges accumulate near the lower edges. Positive charges get accumulated near the ground also. As air is poor conductor, charges cannot flow and keep accumulating. When too much of charges get accumulated, air cannot resist their flow. Negative and positive charges meet, producing streaks of bright light and sound. We see streaks as lightning. The process is called an electric discharge. This discharge of static electricity can take place between two charge regions of the same cloud or different cloud or even between cloud and earth. Now that we understand the basic phenomenon, we are not scared of lightning as the people in the ancient times used to be. However, lightning strike could easily destroy life and property. So, we need to take some safety measures to avoid these incidents. You know, a metallic rod taller than the building is installed in the building during construction. One end of the rod is buried deep into the earth. That rod transfers the electric charges to the ground during lightning. This is called lightning conductor. As a precautionary measure, don't go out in lightning and thunderstorm. If you are outside, rush to a safer place. After hearing the last thunder, wait for some more time before coming out of the safe place. Open places, open cars like tractors, motorbikes are not safe. Don't carry umbrella with pointed cap. A house or a building is a safe place. If you are traveling by car or by bus, you are safe inside with windows and doors of the vehicle shut. If you are near forest, take shelter under short trees only, not under big tall trees like coconut etc. Because lightning strikes taller trees in the forest. In case you are in an open space with no shelter, stay away from trees, poles, etc. Squat low on ground like this with head between the knees. This position will make you the smallest target to be struck. To save your electrical appliances, unplug them. Stay away from the telephone wire, metal pipe, electric wire because Lightning as we know is electrical discharge. So now you understand what is lightning and how to protect yourself from lightning. The process of electric discharge between clouds and the earth or between different clouds causes lightning. Lightning strike could destroy life and property. Lightning conductors can protect buildings from the effects of lightning. So, take enough precautions during thunderstorm and lightning and be safe. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.